and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Dad, all set for a day at the races. You look stunning, darling. <laughs> You're going to turn heads, no doubt about that. You sure are. <laughs> How'd you get an outfit like that together in one evening? It was all Kate's doing. I suspect she was up half the night. It was nothing. Uh, don't believe her, Dad. I know for a fact that she was running round the village in the dark, gathering up a feather here, silk gloves there. <laughs> well, I remembered seeing this beautiful gold camisole in the bag of clothes that Joy brought over when Tony dumped my entire wardrobe in the tip. Oh. Not your entire wardrobe. Alice, show Dad. The detail in the gold is absolutely gorgeous. Apparently, she picked it up in a charity shop. Yeah, and Kate embellished the fascinator herself with these vintage flowers. Kate, using a needle and thread? Oh, you are on a <laughs> Oi, I'm extremely good at when I need to be. Right, Alice, uh, are we ready to go? Can it be good to get ahead of the race day traffic? Well, I should probably call Lillian first to make sure she knows when to expect Starlight's owners. They want to talk about stabling another horse with us. Well, you don't need to call her. Send her a text if you're worried. Well, and I've just remembered that Jacob's doing some booster vaccinations this morning. I feel bad leaving her to handle everything at such short notice. Auntie Lillian's just excited that you two will be at Cheltenham. In fact, the bracelet is hers. She brought it round last oh. night after she left the ball. Oh, thank you so much for this, both of you. I've got a million other things I ought to be doing. But here I am at 7.30 on a Wednesday morning dressed as vintage spring. <laughs> and I feel happier than I have in weeks. This is the third booster vaccination. The final one, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, Panther. Good boy. Nice and steady. That's it. Good fella. <sighs> I'm going to have to head straight to Felpersham when I've finished here, Paul. Would you let Lillian have the paperwork, please? She's, she's in the office. Oh, of course. I should be back in good time for the team meeting. I'll uh, let Denise and Alistair know. Thank you. I bumped into Kate yesterday lunchtime. Huh. I uh, shared a table with her at the tea room. Yes, yeah, she mentioned it. She said you made plans for a drink at the ball after work today. We did. Um, do you fancy joining us? Absolutely not. I've got a drink at home and a good book to finish. Oh, there's... Can't argue with that. <laughs> but but we, we, we could talk about something while we pack up here. Talk? Chat? Oh, I see. Oh, you mean a good old-fashioned chinwag? Oh, I'd love that. Right. We could kick off with celebrity gossip and then move on to some light banter about Ambridge. I, uh, um... <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm quite happy to keep our chatter to equine matters and brief remarks about the weather. Mm -hmm. Oh, everyone looks so glamorous. So, are you having fun? Oh, I'm having the time of my life, honestly, Good. Dad. The excitement, the adrenaline. Oh, I feel like I've been transported into another world. Hey, you even arranged for the sun to be shining. At one point, almost took my jacket off. <laughs> Careful, it's only March. Remember what Mum would say. Uh, now cast the cloak till May is out. <laughs> oh, look, they're in the parade ring for the champion bumper. Mm, big field. Mm. Oh, I imagine what it would be like riding a horse here. Oh, completely exhilarating. I know. You know, even though we haven't won a bean this year, I, th I think it's been my best day ever at the races. Yeah, same. My heart was thundering when they came to the final jump in the last race. Well, I thought ours was still in it at that point. Oh, me too. Um, Dad, are you in a hurry to get home? I mean, if we leave now, we're going to get caught up in rush hour traffic. I'm easy. I thought you need to get back for Martha's bedtime. Well, Chris has texted. He's happy to have Martha tonight. He wants to meet Harrison about the cricket tomorrow, so it suits him to swap. Uh, how are things with Chris? 
Kate mentioned that you'd had a bit of a fallout over Harry. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. I don't want to spoil the magic of the day. Fair enough. Well, let's stay as late as we can. Not often the two of us get to let our hair down. <laughs> not that I have a lot to let down. <laughs> well, I'm keeping my hair firmly up. Kate would kill me if I ruined this chignon. Well, let's get someone to take a photo. Oh, yeah, with the horses and the parade ring behind us. Yeah, great idea. Show the world how well we scrub up. <laughs> I was the only one left on the dance floor doing an old aerobics routine to acid <laughs> jazz. And there's video yeah. footage to prove it, Paul. You can even hear me counting the steps. Well, I'll take your embarrassment and raise you. Right. I once did a talk about being a vet nurse to a women's institute in Birmingham. That doesn't sound too bad. Mm, no, it was, believe me. I was so nervous, I kept making ridiculous innuendos, <laughs> like a carry-on movie. I could hear them coming out my mouth, but had no power to stop them. <laughs> like what kind of thing? Oh. I remember saying, well, it was just a little prick. Oh. Oh, yeah. Then drawing attention to it by apologising, <laughs> only to blurt out something even more lewd. How did that go down? Oh, I split the audience. Half were outraged, half laughing their heads off and heckling me. <laughs> oh, I've got a joke that'll make you laugh. Go for it. What do you give a sick horse? Well, I'd advise a small feed and a carrot or apple as temptation. Oh, that's such a Yakob answer. I know. Sorry. What do you give a sick horse? Cough stirrup. Ooh. Oh, come on. Yakob didn't laugh either. Well, then maybe Yakob and I have more in common than we thought. <laughs> How was it at work today? Any better than yesterday? Good. Back to normal. Although a new kind of normal. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure Jacob attempted to make small talk with me this morning. Wow. Mm. He really must be trying to make it up to you. <laughs> I'll go see if they have a table. Their food looks incredible. I saw a tiny little layered cake covered in real flowers. Well, don't be too disappointed if they don't, as I imagine they'll be fully booked. Oh, there's no harm in asking. I won't be a minute. OK. Is that Brian Aldridge? Hmm? It is! <laughs> oh, Miranda Elliot. Yes, yeah, I know, I know. Gosh, you haven't changed a bit, Miranda. How are you? In my absolute element. What a wonderful day it's been. Are you here with Jennifer? I'm here with my, my youngest daughter, Alice, actually. Um, I'm afraid Jenny, she died quite suddenly last year. Oh, no. Brian, I'm... I feel terrible. I'm so sorry. How are you? Oh, silly question. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, you have to learn to live with it. You know, whenever I think of her, it's always in that gorgeous kitchen of yours, <laughs> creating a culinary masterpiece, full of life. It's, it's almost impossible to think of her in any other way. Well, that's nice to hear. It makes a refreshing change in that mournful look people give you when you tell them the news. Nice to hear you speak of her with such enthusiasm. I missed our dinners together after things went mm. sour with Justin. What are your plans now? Well, Alice has gone to see if we can get a table for dinner. Ah, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. They don't serve evening meals. Well, are you here all week? No, unfortunately not. Today is my last day. I'm actually involved in organising an event in Borchester on Friday night, so I'll be in town all day tomorrow setting things up. In fact, if you fancy meeting up for a coffee and a catch-up, be a welcome break from work. Uh, well, I mean, that sounds lovely, but I, I, I'm extremely busy with the farm and family at the moment. I, 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 don't, I don't think I'll be able to get away. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Brian Aldridge in demand as ever. <laughs> But if you change your mind, here's my card. Oh. Give me a call. Thank you. <laughs> and when you see Justin, tell him I said hi. I will. I will. Bye, Miranda. Bye. Oh, who's that? That was Justin Elliott's ex. Imagine bumping into her. Ah, oh, I thought I recognised her. We used to have them round for dinner sometimes. Oh, the days of dinner parties in the farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Jenny'd start cooking straight after breakfast on a Saturday. And you would annoy her all day, hanging around, trying to taste things before they were ready. Absolutely, because the whole house smelt so good. <laughs> oh, well, the single life obviously suits Miranda. She looks stunning. Did she? Mm. 
Uh, anyway, Di, um, what's the news on the food front? Oh, not so good, I'm afraid. They don't do evening sittings, but they have told me where we can get mini roast beef and Yorkshire puddings. Or we could stop at a pub on the way home. Roast beef sounds good to me. Oh, great. I just need to freshen up and apply another coat of lippy. Let's meet by the paddock in 15 minutes. But I thought you were spending the evening with Paul. Yes, but I brought him too. I wasn't convinced you would want to be surprised. I, I was reading, Kate. Mm, but there we were, paying through the nose for Kenton's cocktails when I could be making us all a gin fizz here. I'm in my pyjamas. Oh, yes. Sorry. But I'm sure Paul doesn't mind. Do you mind? But of course not. But I mind. Well, they're very cute pyjamas. They're so soft. <laughs> Paul, feel. Oh, dear. It's all right. <laughs> I can see how soft they are. The point isn't whether I look cute or not. The point is that I thought I was at home in private. You gave me a key, Jacob. I shouldn't have to make an appointment to visit you. I'm your life partner. Uh, but I'm not. And we should have run to check it was OK to descend on you. I'm sorry, Jacob. I'll get going. No, 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 no. Now you're here, it would, it would be rude for me to send you away. Mm. And after all, it is only eight o'clock. The night is young. I mean, if you're sure it's all right to stay... Of course it is. Jacob can read any time. So, did you have fun at the pub? We did. I was trying out some of my horse jokes on Paul. <laughs> oh, did they make you laugh? <laughs> no. They're truly terrible. Paul? Oh. oh, please don't give up your day job, Kate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you saying that I should try to rein it in? <laughs> OK. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> Off the cuff. Spontaneous. But please, no more. All right. Look, make yourself at home, Paul. I'll get the drinks. <laughs> oh, uh, I, uh, I did try to warn Kate that you'd planned a quiet night. It's, it's, it's all right. I don't, don't imagine she even heard you. <laughs> that woman is a force of nature. Yes. Yes, she is. Hello? Miranda? Speaking. Who is this? Uh, it's Brian. Uh, Brian oh. Aldridge. I'm, I, I'm sorry to call so late. It's fine. For all my talk of heading straight home, I ended up going to a party. Oh, goodness. It was hosted by one of the jockeys. Very lavish. The youngsters were in the hot tub. <laughs> Champagne flowing freely. Yet you're home by ten. Who said I was home? Oh, right. <laughs> Hey, Brian, I'm teasing. After one glass of champagne and a few canapes, all I could think about was falling into bed. Uh, which is where I should be. I, I've, I've got to be up at the crack of dawn to check on the replanting we're doing for your ex. Uh, Brian, did you just ring to tell me you wouldn't be having a lie-in, or was there another reason you called? Well, as a matter of fact, it turns out I, I'll be in Borchester tomorrow after all. So... If your offer of coffee is still on the table, I'd love to take you up on it. And, and these, are, these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production? Uh, yep, yeah, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, yeah, that's... I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community. At whatever